Here we go. The first drop again. It is Frenzy Farms. They have to land in that four grid space near Frenzy Farms. There's Risky Reels. There's the Orchard. There's a couple of different things. somewhere over here. Like, We're going to start can, with Booga here and if Juju. Hella people, we can Looks go to like that. they're already deciding their strategy. That has three chests. Let's listen. The first tactical. I'm going to try to get like a really good job for the house though, or the billboard. Ooh, so we knew that Risky was going to be a primary location here for players that were trying my to get high. There's directly like... inside. Man, the pressure oh, so already. Are Just seeing here. the players okay. landing right next to each other. Are you, you hear him call for the billboard. The he wants to get up on the height and get that position of strength yeah. so he can look upon Risky and definitely get a lot of loot here. DK Metcalf is in the area as well. Booga might decide to glide by. Symphony might actually get that. Yes, he goes by towards the Grove. This is the other area I was talking about. Two, Actually, four, I might be getting three chest spawns and a lot of loot. Ooh. Ooh. He's going to land on the legendary chest that here. This is going to be an me. ideal situation for Booger right now because he's going to get okay, all three chests. Loot. And kind of to himself now, look, he's backing right, up. He's trying to see. play this lay of the, the land. Bush, actually. If you can get to me, I'll give you a gun. This is smart. There's also the mushrooms. He doesn't necessarily have to use these. Make, already make some field. eliminations going down in the field. Kurt Bankert, who is the most hyped NFL player going into this, is already back, down yeah, and yeah, out. Yeah. But Aiden is backing him up. Baker Mayfield goes down. That is right. Aiden's going to go in and kind of confirm that Elam right now. And I love this strategy right here. Booga. You know, so experienced, knows the lay of land. But we're jumping in with another engagement. Reverse 2K uh -oh. versus Nick A30. David Morgan's already down. And I believe both of their NFL partners are down already. So reverse 2K versus Nick oh, A30. No. Oh, the big shot to start. And Nick A30 is down and out. And this is what we expect. We're forcing the action here as our favorite players are all just kind of hugged up on top of one another. And this is actually uh, kind of crazy because this is Nick A's spot. This uh -oh. is his actual competitive spot here. Aiden did pick up Kurt Benkert. And now it's Aiden against reverse 2K. With the help of Kurt Benkert from the side, the flank could come on. Kyler Murray just took uh, down Booga. Oh my gosh. And remember, guys, this is siphon go, setting go as well. So boost the material the and, you know, health back per elimination here. He might be on, yeah, just go all the way around. You know what I'm talking about? Yep, yep. I see him. He's still on the roof. Go, 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 strategic go. and positional gonna, you know that, right? yeah, 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 play yeah. here for Kurt Benker to, to watch him. try to get the flank off, try to get the shots from the side. Here's the engagement we were talking about. Kyler Murray actually took out Booga and Tifu pounced directly on top of him. Ooh, they, let's go, they got Kyler, both of them. Let's Already go, man. Hey. Everything you want. Booga Ooh. trying to hide in the bush, you but playing, he bro. wasn't safe. Safe at all <laughs> with two eliminations. That's already four points on the board for them. And of yeah, course, a couple sweet. duos did get eliminated. So even some placement points starting to get through here. They're definitely happy about that. We'll check in with the rest of the map too. Clicks and Tariq. Hey, ooh, oh, great yeah. loadout for clicks right off the bat. My gosh, that it's is like, our bro. box fight champ. That's part, that's One of them right that's here. Of hey. that's a, yeah, that's a part of Frenzy because it's all the same color. That's, that's what like my Frenzy. Wait, people are going here. Oh, he's trying to figure out where are the players People landing. Because now, here. now he's understanding that, hey, yeah. that's a part of the grid. Yeah. It's, it's more space than they realized. A lot more space. We, we talked about all the different loot opportunities in this area. Here's Tariq. Not as much good loot for him, but, of course, Clicks is going to have a huge base of stuff. Ooh, Unknown Army and Avante Maddox are right on their tails, really close, but they're going to go ahead and quickly get into the cornfield. Who's lurking nearby? Tim the Tapman. You know, it's yeah, kind of crazy if you really think about it. These are the most alpha of the players to go into the yep. named location. Ready to take any battle. And no surprise, unknown army of Vontae Maddox here. Hanging out, looking to siege up on someone. Uh-oh. Dr. Lupo was talking some smack coming into this, saying, hey, it's not about the placements. Keenan Allen goes down against Brooke A.B. and Eric Ebron. Eric's going to get the confirmation there. Brooke now kind of pushing up. No fear on trying to press here on Dr. Lupo. She's going to expose herself a little bit, though. That's going to be a 90 shot right there. Big, big damage. Lupo, no fear of the surrounding competitors, not even blocking out the backside here. But it's still 2v1. This is no easy feat for anyone, regardless. And positionally, Brook AB and Eric are down below. You hear the whistle in the background. That is the signal oh, that these leave. players yes. can start to leave the right. area, leave that first grid. Meanwhile, this engagement is still happening. Brook has a oh, possibility of taking out Lupo. He's he's, both of them so low right now. Brook on 2 HP. I mean, she was excited to leave, but then suddenly went for the fight. And now Lupo has no more shield. 
All she has to do is find her teammate, back him up. Here's Eric. Eric I think they lost minute. track. Not exactly sure where Lupo went, and he's a sneaky one. He might have decided to completely disengage from everybody. They can leave the area right now, so things are definitely... Oh, he's oh in my god! Brook goes down! All up to Eric now against Dr. Lupo, oh, and, he and he gets does him. Go down. Manages to clutch up for Brook. And now Eric Ebron keeps them in the game. All that big talk he was putting down before things kicked off, he is backing it up here today. And he gets the pickup onto Brook, so now there's still a pair. Having a little bit more space to play with. Tifu definitely pouncing on possibility opportunity on Brook and Eric. Ooh. Big shot right there. Great follow up. My Eric Ebron's going to fall to Tifu Good himself. Shit. Shit on him? Good follow up from Kyle Murray right there. Actually, get the confirmation on oh, his own yeah. 1v1 versus Brook, and that's it. That team's yeah, yeah. out of here. Game and now Tifu's squad is in first place yeah. based off of their laid out you know, Elims. Booga. Look like, at how many Elims they have. Might as well send this guy Five Elims. Right that's right ridiculous, of course. Some of those even going on some big <laughs> favorites. Booga I don't and Juju. That. that was just game one. Just game five kills, one. Though. Five eliminations, that's 10 points already for this team, plus the placements that yeah. are occurring there. In uh, first place, I think a clear lead. Gonna, oh, let's not oh, forget, dear. guys, this is just the let's first left, quarter actually. of the Streamer Bowl. Yeah, let's go like east. They oh, are right, setting up I need to see if I can first go game here. Stream. They're I'm setting up the, you know, the, the stakes here to take it off for the charity. This is a great advantage they have now. So many eliminations. Only 32 of these players obviously coming into this hot spot right here. <laughs> I'm surprised we don't see them inside of a house just taking it oh, down. Okay, whoa, whoa. Chill, chill, chill. Uh-oh. Dude, dude's right ahead. You see him? You see him up there? You see him up there? Oh. Don't shoot. You will spot it. We're not, we're not contesting that. <laughs> the strategies no! are coming no! out. No! no! Chap! Already knocks him no! from range. No! 136 no! meters. No! Get it! <laughs> and just like that, his teammate chill, falls chill, chill, so he's fast. Alone. He's alone. He's, he's in, he's in where I'm at. Hey, hey, someone come to the right. No, no, no. The right? What do you mean the right? No, no, no. The other, other, yeah, 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 straight, right? The straight. other right. I, I the other right. <laughs> I don't think he's coming over here, though. Okay. Let him go. This is definitely it. Trying not to engage, trying not to get too close to anybody because it's very important. You want to get all the placement points that you can, but don't forget, every single elimination is a little bit more incentivized I than what you're that. used to if you're watching competitive <laughs> Fortnite or Fortnite in general. Meanwhile, Chap is setting up a different strategy here. He has control of this side of the map here. He can storm hold. He can yeah, do a like number of different things. This face right now. And oh, oh no, no, here comes in the big nades. Those are actually perfectly angled there at 81 meters. Set them in. Los Pollos <laughs> off to the races there. I gotta get out of here. He's hunting. <laughs> I was gonna say, you can hear the banter coming in towards Chap from behind because they're in the same He's little running, pocket right, right there. Chap and, Chap and Los are they're next directly to each other. next to each other in terms of the location inside this arena. You can hear him going off. Ooh. Oh, what a team to run into when you're trying to run away from one of the most prolific Fortnite players. Chat, you run right back into Nick Merckx. Instantly takes him out. Horrible. There it is. Merckx is now going to find uh, himself uh, another one here, and that's going to be a nice little upgrade for him. And here I'm, comes I'm the zone. I'm getting this harpoon. Nah, there's no shield. I'm getting this harpoon. You got to watch your back, okay? That That's all the way up southeast or some shit. Or east, east, east. So far away, the shots. He's looking at you. He's looking at you. Coming in. Definitely trying it's to chap. ensure. Oh, is it chap? Oh, yeah, yeah possibly me, like, definitely could. He threw those grenades too, so that's a tool you can use to kind of push people away and opt or push them into not going after you. Let me see kind if, of a you, deterrent. Yo, if you see any holes to fish, all right? You hear me? Nick Merck's trying to make the best use of the harpoon here while he can here. The river is just on the outskirts of the zone. He's not going to find anything beneficial right now, but hey, at least he finds himself. You gotta, you gotta get up on me. A little way to the zone here. So far, this is the pair that I think has been playing further than the ex expectations. Nick Merckx definitely wanted Mike the entire draft. He was talking about it before the draft, it, even when they were playing together. Nice. Ooh, even more like cohesion like with that. the harpoon. Making sure right on his tail. Oh, those, yeah, yeah. But I wish I would have killed him. Oh. And there it is, Mike. It's expressing that he wants to get in there, get some action going. And they're going to be one of the, probably one of the last to rotate into the zone, as you've seen, kind of just from the other perspectives. Players are already getting there. They're setting up, kind of figuring out what they want to do now. Mm -hmm. This is where things are going to shift gears a little bit. We're going to yeah. go into more old-fashioned Fortnite, right? Yeah. Normal, normal kind of 
movement and rotations. You can see perfect players to tune in with right here. A little slower be, stage of the game here, now as people start to hunt and find all the different players who are kind of stuck right now. Tifu taking right, some man. shots of his own. There is the third zone revealed right on top of retail, so good position from them. I got to say, they are fearless right now. Several eliminations here on Tyler. Ooh, the and oh, the Great shot. It's going to find a little hold yeah. down there in the pixel that was exposed. Yeah. And now what Tyler, he's going to want to slide up here. Hey, I want to see another one of those. That's ridiculous. Tyler showing off. Oh, got no. It's right right back. Right, gotta, gotta Tifu back basically loses the HP that Kyler gained on this advantage here. Or it, honestly, it might be Nick Murray. Oh, he's trying to call out, trying to figure out exactly who it is so he can maybe decide, is this worth engaging? It's actually Symphony and DK Metcalf. He thought they were controller gamers for a second there with how fast he got hit with the dual shots coming in from Symphony here. Hey, do you have an RPG? Uh, I do not, I do not. I have four rockets for you, though. Look at that loadout. Ridiculous. Oh wait, there's people up there. The amount of heals. Um, this is perfect for this scenario now. where, back in. you know, it's not a uh, uh, heavily chaotic so endgame. Oh. Little does he know, Kyler Murray is now fallen here officially. And the zone is going to favor upwards towards them as well right here. The rest of the lobby is so lucky right now that they are all kind of focused on each other because if these guys, there's three big names up here, Tifu clicks, and Aiden, look down over towards Retail Row. I don't think a single person would survive trying to make that rotate up. Definitely not here, but take a look at the side shot. This is the view of what's going on. Good. This can get a better understanding from the outside it. looking in. Aiden is really situated up right now. And they're just on the edge of the zone here in the half in, half out. The zone's going to be cutting up across here. So now Retail Row is no longer safe. Everyone has to move yeah, on out I'm just chilling and head back up to the zone yeah, here. So if you remember chat, Symphony, DK Metcalf and all them, they did have to move up towards the bottom of the hill. That's why they're all based up on the bottom. Nick Merckx did make his way up with Mike Evans. Chap still up in the game by himself. Mike Evans does get tagged a little bit up from the high ground. Who did actually remain on high ground? It was Clicks and Tariq Cohen. Huge advantage going into the moving zones. Good, good, good. All right. But I do Tom, remember Tim no, no, Tapman had we an RPG, We stay here, we so stay here we'll and see. wait for all of them to rotate. Yes. This is the call. This is exactly what you were talking about. So many opportunities here for Clicks and Tariq Cohen because it continues up. If you look we're at the top right of the okay? screen, it continues north, away from retail, away from the base of the hill that we pointed out earlier. Now the shots are coming in. Might be at the base of this mountain. Remember, Tifu's just recycling all those materials as well that he had before. Tim the Tatman's going to find Mike Evans, though, so it's going to be a rifle shot right there. And then Nick Merckx responds right back, takes out Tim. It's the end of that. I believe He's gonna Chap to... is still making the rotation. Reverse coming up right behind him. It's true. He left Mike in the dust there. So now it's good old-fashioned competitive players on this other side of the map here. Reverse Chap, Nick Merckx all on top of one another. And that's the engagement happening right there as they're pouncing on this rotation. You have to cut across here. No. But it does go very, very far down the hill onto low ground, which is why immediately Chap decides to pounce because that high ground that Clicks had up above, it's easily knocked down if he looks back. Oh, the RPG coming in. Definitely a scary moment for Chap. And then many players coming in from the sides. And that was his wall right there. Great find on Metcalf who let his guard down. He's going to fall to Chap. You can see NFL the reaction from Kyle Van Noy. He's still cheering his teammate on the trap, but that's not going to be enough. Nick Merckx yeah. takes him out. Oh, he also goes down because he got hit man. by the same trap. Chap. Had him on, clicks and Tariq, still up on high ground. Tifu in zone, he has a couple of fish to work with. Symphony oh, against Aiden down oh, on low ground too. He took out Kurt, Ben Kurt. Stay high, stay high, I'm good, I'm good. All right, now, now just laser them. Just get me, get me, you good? Check your map. Great hold right them, here, them. looking for the Push compact them. shots right there. Someone's trying to build up though. And it's Tifu finds himself in the high gear oh. with the RPG. <gasps> they, don't do they, know. they don't Big know, they don't know. Big shot comes in and the follow up right no there. Way. Down goes a player. And now Tifu's got every no advantage way, in his pocket right now against all odds, Ball. He's turning it around. 1v1. Here it is, Tifu up on height. He took it from Clicks and Tariq Cohen. Unbelievable that he did that. Pull it out. I was surprised myself. It's now Tifu against Symphony in the last one, last battle of this game. Number one of the streamer bowl. Here we go.
It's coming down to it. Symphony's just trying to P90 him from the low ground, trying to knock him out. Gotta be careful of any elevation changes. RPG's still coming up, and Material's running low for Symphony. He could still do this if he gets the shots that he needs. That is true. He has no heals right here, but great follow-up with the RPG. And now it's time to put it all on the table here. The big 50-50 from Tfue. Let's see what's gonna happen right now. As he's deciding whether or not he wants to do it, there goes the classic shot. Can he do this, Bala? A good old fashioned 1v1 right now. The fake out with the wall. Playing the block line of sight! Oh, and he baby. does fall right down! Brilliantly executed from Tfue. Uses the 